Genting's content management system is using so-called Aloha editor. This is editor in what you see is actually what you get. This means that you work directly on the page and not in the dialog window. Therefore, the once you are editing the text, you see it almost as once it is published. Now let's have a look how you can edit any content uh, in the CMS. Uh, doesn't matter whether it is a page or whether it is a tag, the principle is always the same. As you can see, when I hover over the mouse on this content page, I see the yellow areas where actually text fields are located. When I click into one of the yellow areas, the rectangle changes into blue and we get also the formatting bar about the actual rectangle. You can move the for formatting bar into position wherever you want to have it and then simply pin it into the place or then you can also unpin it. Now here you can basically enter any content or copy straight away from any text editor or from, for example, from Microsoft Word. And the editor will also recognize the formatting. However, what you have to remember that, uh, for example, a content page has got a preset styles. So very first line is the headline. Second rectangle is the subheadline. And the last one is actually the text. With the headlines, you cannot really change much because they are, as I already said, preset. But you can do any sort of a formatting in the uh, text box of the content. So, for example, if you choose to change the paragraph formatting into heading six, all you have to do is just select a, a different heading types and you will see basically what happens. You can make it bold, you can make it uh, into italics and you can also decrease or increase the font size. This is especially useful in the tags rather than in the content pages when you, for example, have a really very long headline and it is flowing into more lines by decreasing the text simply you will get a little bit more space and uh, your tag will probably look uh, much better on eye apart from formatting options you can also create a links creating links is very simple again you just simply highlight the text which you want to link and then you have the link insertion option in the formatting bar simply click on that and you have a several options you can either insert the external link uh, you can choose to go through the internal link if you already have something in the cms or you can also upload the file the links by default will open in a new window this can be changed, however, in the sidebar settings. As I am already placing my uh, cursor on the link, this black sidebar appears. When you open it, you will have few options. The most important and most used are actually self and blank. Self means that the link will open in the same window. Blank means that the link will open in the new window. Apart from a linking, there is also an option of uh, creating a list in the content uh, text boxes and uh, you can do it two ways. Uh, it, it is either by inserting the, for example, A and B and then selecting in the formatting menu type of a, a list you want to use or you can change the formatting even before you insert the text. Last thing which you can also do in a content pages especially is that apart from uh, inserting list and text you can also insert an image by simply inserting image through the formatting bar. So you go to insert project pages and pictures. Once you click on that, formatting uh, option uh, opens in the text box. In order to insert the text, uh, follow the steps as with uh, inserting of any image. Click on the middle editing button. And here you have uh, basically two options. You can either select image from the internal repository, which is already in the CMS, 
or you can also via choosing the new image upload image directly from your hard drive so for example i can uh, upload something which i already have in the cms so just locate the image which you want to use select it remember to name it so describe what the image is actually showing you have also a few more options here so you can decide on the size in case you want to leave it to the original size use the very top option and then you can also choose where the picture will be positioned in within the text box so for example if you want to have it on the left hand side you choose left and you can also link it to internal or external page once you are happy with all the information you provided make sure that you press ok and as you can see image is already here on the screen it is very huge but this is because i have decided to use the original size of the image if you see that this is definitely not fitting it's very easy to change you go again to the editing menu of the image and you can maybe choose medium size press ok and we see that the image is now in a much better size uh, in relation to the text when you are happy with all the editing remember to save changes and publish the page